Hey everybody, it's good to have you with me here again. We're going to be doing another gameplay video for you. Um, earlier in the week, I'm afraid I had a bit of a catastrophic PC failure, so um, uh, this one's a little bit of a lower effort than normal. Uh, what, I'm d what I've done for you today is I'm playing a full playthrough of Golden Axe, um, but because I had problems with my computer, uh, I haven't been able to record um, my ramblings during the game so maybe that's a good thing um, so this is going to be a commentary free playthrough uh, but I've been able to at least record a voice introduction for you before I put the video out I'll just point out I'm playing this game on a, a genuine Sega Mega Drive console in fact this is the Mega CD rather than the cartridge game the Mega CD which was imaginatively renamed in North America as the Sega CD uh, the this version of the game, I believe, is exactly the same as the, say, the uh, cartridge game, uh, but uh, has, uh, from what I can tell, enhanced audio. So I think we have voice samples for the grunts <laughs> instead of digitized sound effects. And the music seems to be like real music instead of computer generated chip tunes. Um, it sounds pretty good, uh, although I. You might notice that uh, at some random points the music stops. Uh, I think this is a failing of the CD drive. I think what goes on is that the, uh, the, the disc reaches the end of the track and uh, it stops to wind back to the beginning of the track to play it again. I think that's what's going on. Um, but the gameplay wasn't affected at all. Uh, so hopefully you'll enjoy that. I'll let you know that I, I uh, managed to play th through the whole game in one sitting. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't do it on a single credit. Um, it's been a long time since I've played it, and uh, I didn't really have a very good start when I play, <laughs> did this playthrough. Um, it, it started off a bit rubbish, but um, I got into my stride and I made it all the way to the end without running out of credits at least. Uh, I'll let you know as well that I I was playing the game as Tyrus Flair, the Amazon, usually when I play Golden Axe. And I used to play this a lot when I was a kid with my brother. Um, I usually played as Tyrus Flair because she has the most magic and I think that means that she can deal the most damage through her magic attack when she has a full, uh, a full magic meter. I don't know if that means that maybe her physical attacks are weaker as far as I can tell the character's normal weapon attacks all seem to deal the same amount of damage um, but for all I know it could mean that she's the weakest character and maybe Gilius Thunderhead the Dwarf might actually be the physically strongest character. Maybe if you know the answer to that question you can put it in the comments and let me know. But as far as I can tell the, the physical attacks all seem to be the same across the characters. It's only the magic attacks that are different and you know I might be wrong as well in thinking that her magic attacks are stronger than the others but I assume that seeing as her magic goes all the way up to six and Gilius's only goes up to like three or four um, hers must be more powerful but we'll see anyway this is my playthrough I hope you enjoy it um, make sure you stay tuned at the end just to see the the uh, entertaining uh, little baseball game between Gilius Thunderhead and one of the enemies <laughs> with all the uh, credit letters and uh, please remember to like and subscribe if you if you into that sort of thing and uh, I'll see you again in the next one this is the last you're going to hear from me for today uh, hopefully by the next time my PC will be sorted out and I'll be able to record a proper game with commentary for you anyway hope you enjoy this
Thank you.